Alright, good morning. We are in the uh, Mandan, North Dakota. This little flying Jew who stayed here last night. We gotta get over into Wisconsin. Sorry, just waking up here. <laughs> gotta go inside and get a little coffee. We have 520. 520 miles. Eight hours and 43 minutes. I'm pretty confident that I can make it today. It's got to be steady. Got a little bit of leeway. Very little. But we should be able to make it. Just a little pre-trip. We're good to go. Truck is warming up. I didn't have to idle last night. You can tell from the windows. It's a... Uh, bugs, man, are crazy over here. So we gotta get the windows cleaned. We're gonna get to a Loves. I was gonna get fuel here, but uh... I'm just gonna go and uh, we're gonna get down to Fargo. It's about 200 miles from here. Get some fuel over there. Let's get a little bit of fuel. I got about eh, between half and, and a quarter right now, so. So we'll just get just a little bit of fuel to, to get delivered. And uh, we'll be good to go. So, uh, let me get up front here. Get these windows clean. Stop yawning. <laughs> Get on down the road. Finish this trip to Wisconsin. All the way from Oregon. About 1,900 miles. Good night sleeping. Quiet night sleeping. Didn't have to idle. Man, love it. So, uh, yeah, let's get these windows clean. We get on down the road here. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Started here. Get back on 94. Just getting started. Back on 94. Possibly hold us up just a little bit. You're just getting through Minneapolis. But it's just a little bit after 6 a.m. right now, Central Time. And we should, uh, like I said, we gotta stop in Fargo, get a little bit of fuel. I would assume that we will probably be hitting Minneapolis. Maybe like around 12.30. Time will tell. For right now, we're heading to Fargo. The loves. Get some fuel and 
consumption for the truck and me. So let's get on down the road so we can make this delivery to them. Talk to you guys in a little while. Leaving the loaves here. Here in Fargo. Just talking to this guy here in front of me from Manitoba. <laughs> Say he's been having truck issues the past couple of weeks. Hey, man. It's like what he was explaining was like almost the same stuff that was happening to me. He's just trying to get home. He's about four hours north from home. So I'm about five days south. <laughs> I gotta get south. Get out of here. Like 29 and 94 kind of come together. So we got to get around, loop around, get back on 94, or get back on 29, then get on to 94. Still doing good on time. And it doesn't help sitting here. <laughs> come on, there we go. Parked for a minute. Went to go walk Leia. And seen this other driver. There's two two trucks. One guy nosed in, and obviously the other guy backed in. And the guy that backed in, he went to turn, like leave his spot and go around the shop, and go up towards the pumps. And when he did. <laughs> he like jacked up his trailer, man. Just tore up both trailers, man. Just obviously he took the corner too sharp. I don't even. I don't know. It happens, but it was just like when you're sitting there and then you're watching it and you're hearing it, and you're like, ah, like metal on metal. You're like, stop, dude, stop, dude. He just kept on going. The other guy was sleeping, like. The, fr the driver that hit the other trailer. He hit the other trailer, he got out and he looked and then he went to leave. Then the other guy jumped out and started chasing him through the parking lot. Finally caught up to him at the pumps and he looped back around. He gave it a shot though. He tried, he tried to get away.
driver that hit the other trailer, he, uh, it was a, uh, I think he just basically just ripped up his skirt, you know. And I couldn't see what happened to the other trailer. But he was out there working on something, probably like broke his tail light or something, I don't know. You never know what's going to happen in a parking lot. <laughs> Almost back on 94. We're doing good on time. everyone just finishing up my paperwork for the day we did it we did it we made it all the way here delivered man I actually pulled into the parking lot and I had exactly 34 minutes on my clock and I was like heck yeah man nailed it then uh, the place is huge and naturally I went to the wrong entrance they're like, oh, you got to go over here. Turn right, right, left. You know, go to this entrance. I go over there. Oh, no, you got to go over here. Go left, right, right, whatever. So finally, after getting to the third one and creeping there the whole time, not trying to start my clock, everything was cool. I got there. She checked me in. And she's like, oh, just go up, second left, go to the office and give them all your paperwork. And as soon as I creeped away from the... Uh, from the uh, guard shack it started me over in drive time <laughs> and, and I lost so I went from 34 minutes to 22 minutes so I was like oh man you gotta be kidding me so I was able to do all that creeped around the parking lot and they gave me an empty and naturally the empty the empty trailer had a busted tail light what's the, what's the luck on that man but uh we're here at the loves in Menominee, Wisconsin, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. But we got here with <laughs> four minutes on our clock. So, man, what a day, what a day. But uh, they actually just told me I can come here and get it swapped out. And I have tools, but it's one of those taillights, you know, the round ones, and uh, some kind of rivet, I forget what it's called, but I know it's got a little tiny hole and you gotta drill the hole to get the bracket out and I don't, I don't have a drill and all that crap so we're gonna go in here they said that we can go in there so I'm gonna go and check in real quick and hopefully we can get it done and hopefully I don't need a parking spot <laughs> so it's already getting full over here so I'm gonna see if they actually just I'm right here at the shop right here so I'm gonna go walk over there real quick and hopefully you just come over here and swap it out so but uh let me go take care of this and we'll be we'll let you guys know what's going on man well we got checked in the uh repair guy is out on a road call yes He's the only one that can do it. <laughs> I said, man, if you just give me the tools, I'll just do it so I don't have to sit around and wait. So he said, nope, they got to do it. So I even asked him, I was like, hey, man, uh, can they just, like, do the repair right in the parking lot so I don't have to back into the dock, this little tiny dock, and lose my parking spot and everything? And he said they usually do. So let's see what's going on. I don't want to lose my parking spot. This place is going to be jam-packed. They're already getting creative over there. So, man. Be 
it used to be too late, I'll just tell him, like, guess I'll just do it in the morning, because I ain't even going to move, so, if he, if he says I have to move, so, oh, uh, but, uh, yeah, four minutes left on the clock, 1,900 miles, from Oregon all the way to Wisconsin, I actually made it a day early, I wasn't supposed to be here until tomorrow, they said between tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, and I've been to this place a couple times, and it's kind of taking a gamble, see if they take, I've never shown up early, so, and it was just a drop, so, I was, I was betting on that they would just, just let me drop it, <laughs> and I bet, and I won, so, we finished the week off with, like, right about, right about 3,300 miles, so that's another good week, another good week, oh, Leah's staring her down, who's over there, who's over there? I see what she's looking at. I see what you're looking at. That dog is two trucks over and you're you're growling. You growling at that dog? <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah we're done for the day. Now we just gotta wait for this guy to get back to the shop. Uh oh. What you barking at? You alright? Alright. Let's wait for this guy to get back here from the road call. Get this light fixed and go to bed. I'm tired. It was a long four days. We picked up this thing up on uh, Friday afternoon. We drove about five hours. That's all we had left on the clock. And Saturday we had a full clock. And Sunday, you know, you know, yesterday we had about five hours plus the four hours, so about nine hours yesterday. And today we had eight hours and 40 minutes and we made it it was right at 523 miles I believe that's what it was so excellent day in driving <laughs> this trucker won today <laughs> all right we're gonna call it a day wait for this repair guy to show up find something to eat appreciate you guys watching Talk to you guys next time.